So if you're not familiar, what GitHub is, is a platform where developers and now non-developers using AI can store their code and share it with others. Now you can have private and public repositories. That's what they're called. In this case, the No-Code Architects Toolkit is a free tool and it's open to the public and there's instructions on how to install it. There's also documentation on how to use all of the various endpoints. There are also different branches of the code because as you add different features, you can actually keep these different features separated and you can test them independently and then when they're ready, you can merge those back into the build branch, which I'll talk a little bit more about, where all of the main code ends up coming back to. So you can imagine as you add new features or if you have bugs, you're going to have to create these other branches and build those out before you can merge them back into the main code base where people will typically go to get the most recent version. So there are various different ways of interacting with code from GitHub, I prefer to use the terminal to download that code and check it out. The official term to access the code is called cloning the repository. So if I come here to the No Code Architects Toolkit and I come here to code, I can come here to the SSH section here and I can copy this URL to the clipboard and then I can come back to my terminal. I can type git, I can type clone, and then I can put that address right here and then I can go ahead and hit enter. I already have an existing folder with that name. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it into something different, YouTube demo. It's gonna clone that repository into the YouTube demo folder. Normally it would use the no-code architects toolkit directory as a default, but since I already had that, it gave us that previous error. So now it has downloaded all of the code. So I could go into YouTube demo. And if I do an LS on a PC, you'll likely type DIR to get the contents of the folder. But here you can see we have all of these different files here, which is really mimicking the files that you see here in the GitHub interface. Now, once you have this downloaded, then you are also able to check out different branches. So if I type git status, what it's going to tell us right now is that it's on the main branch. So remember, I was talking to you about how we have these different branches here. If I open this up, it starts off on that default main branch, but I could also say git checkout build, and now it's going to switch to the build branch. And in this particular project, we use the build branch to merge everything into and to test before we move it to the main branch. So you can consider this a staging branch where we do all the final testing before we merge it into the main branch and we affect everybody else's toolkit. You don't want to unnecessarily introduce bugs into the main branch. So you use the build branch to test everything thoroughly before it actually gets merged in. 